And now it's time for Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, rock cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray and Rock God Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray. Rock God Rick Maxa is down with Cast Tours and the group down at Lake El Salto having a great time going fishing this morning. We have a great guest co-hosting with me today. Mr. Dale Hightower from Seaguar is here, and we're going to be talking fluorocarbon. We're going to be talking long-range fishing, local fishing, freshwater, and more. You stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup on the Mighty 1090. The offshore fishing around San Diego seems to keep getting better every year, and next season should be no exception. The same is true when it comes to Ford trucks. They just keep getting better, too. In fact, the new Ford Super Duty has just been named Motor Trend Magazine's 2017 Truck of the Year. It's the toughest, smartest, most capable Super Duty ever. If you've got a big boat to move around, look no further. Super Duty beats the competition hands down in both conventional towing and fifth wheel towing. Plus, the new Super Duty is built with high-strength aluminum alloy body panels that won't rust ever. For folks like us that launch a lot of boats, that's a pretty big deal. Continuous improvements and innovations have made F-Series pickups the best-selling trucks in America for 40 years in a row, ever since disco and 8-tracks cassettes were all the rage. So whether you've got an eye on the built Ford Tough F-150 or you need the extra muscle of the new Ford Super Duty, you'll find what you need at your Ford dealer. Go to buy Ford fordnow.com to learn more or stop by any san diego county ford dealer they'll be glad to hook you up this is greg stotesbury from afco for more than 58 years the american fishing tackle company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision built offshore fishing tackle afco continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen from our next generation waterproof shorts like tactical or stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs the entire afco clothing line is purpose built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com and find a dealer near you. Pete here. I was fortunate enough to use the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 touchscreen chart plotter and sonar unit on my boat this summer and fall. And let me say, it's truly incredible. With an easy-to-use tablet-style interface that's fresh but familiar, the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 combines a multi-touch screen with push-to-select rotary dial for precision control and speedy response. As for marking schools of tuna, yellowtail, and more, it's the best. You run over a school and there they are in full color and high definition. The new NSS Evo 2 built-in sonar technology, including chirp and structure scan, can't be beat. I recently added the Simrad AP24 autopilot to my system. I've had other autopilots before, but I can tell you this one is simple, sensitive, and accurate. It integrates with my Simrad NSS Evo 2. I set a waypoint touch the screen, and the boat steers to that spot. There's a lot more to the new Simrad NSS Evo 2 system and AP24 autopilot I'd like to tell you, but best, just go to your local Simrad dealer or see simrad-yachting.com for more details. If you are looking for a powerful, smooth, great casting reel at an affordable price, check out the Shimano Torium HG. It's up to 30% smaller than the previous generation, but still has the same line capacity. The smaller S-compact body design and one-piece die-cast aluminum frame provides more rigidity and lighter weight. Torium now has EI surface treatment and has tested up to 700 times the corrosion resistance of past models. The Shimano Torium HG is not only better on the outside, the inside is amazing with a cross-carbon drag providing up to 24 pounds of drag pressure from a star drag reel. It has a sealed roller clutch and 6.2 to 1 brass gears. The machined aluminum handle has a larger knob to make it easy to crank in the big fish. The new light Weight aluminum spool gives you better casting and control. Available in three sizes, the Torium HD is the next evolution in compact, rigid, and powerful saltwater star drag reels. Get it now at your local Shimano dealer. 
Welcome back. Let's talk. Hook up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here. Rock Cod Rick down with the gang down at El Salto doing some freshwater bass fishing this morning with the Cast Tours group. Hopefully we'll hear from Cast Van later on in the show about how things are going on down there. What a great show we have for you today. Mr. Dale Hightower from Seaguar Fluorocarbon is here. Good morning, Dale. Morning, Pete. Great to have you here. And now, the thing is, Dale is so much more than Seaguar Fluorocarbon. He's a fly fishing guy. In fact, he taught me to fly fish. He is a freshwater guy. He's a big, long-range guy getting ready to leave on the Red Rooster, right? I will be leaving uh, Friday, let's see, February 10th, so I guess next Friday. A, a week from it's yesterday. Fr- it's February already, right? Yeah, I oh know. My gosh. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Yeah, for sure. So wh- what does Dale Hightower from Seaguar take on a long-range trip on the Red Rooster as far as his line? Well, um, I guess I'm obligated, but not just obligated. Um, I, I fish, obviously, exclusively Seaguar. Um, I top shot, so all of my reels are filled up with the uh, th- Seaguar Threadlock 16-strand Holocore braid, and um, I do wind-on leaders using the uh, Gary Sato's uh, crimp kit. So You make your own? Yeah, I make my own. Yeah. Um, I'll probably make some on the trip. I've got some pre-made up. It's at least three days to yeah. to fish, So, um, but... All the all the reels are you know the the nice part about threadlock and and holocore braid in general is you can strip off two or three hundred yards from like my trip last year, I, you know I'd stripped off two or three hundred yards and then got to the stuff that never even saw the water and then spliced in new line filled it back up and you know that splice as you know Pete is stronger than the actual line itself so and seamless you don't even know yeah it's you there. don't even know it's there and uh, and one of the things that you find, and I have one of the really nice line winders in my garage, like they have down at Fisherman's Landing and yeah. Turner's and all the, you know, all the premium retail shops. You got to use a line machine like that to load up that line correctly. Because I've showed up on the boat where people had either somebody else load them or they tried to load them themselves in the garage. And if you don't get that tight, the crew is absolutely going to lose their mind. Yeah. Because um, the second that you put, you know, almost 30 pounds of drag on a rail, that stuff's going to bite into itself. So it has to be done professionally. But it's funny, after you catch a nice fish on it, you'll be amazed at how much line gets packed on that, and it seems like your reel's not full. And I'm sure you've seen it where oh, you, yeah. you catch a fish and you're like, oh, man, I could get another 100 yards of here. Yeah, you put 30 pounds of pressure on a reel when, when uh, as you're loading it on. It's Yeah. Yeah, and so it's not unlikely during the trip that I will probably take or add line to a reel that really I didn't lose any line to it. It just caught some fish on it and packed it tighter. And that's the advantage of loading it up with hollow, right? Yeah, hollows. I mean, for me, hollow's awesome. I love the thread lock. It's smooth. It works. It splices. It it does everything you expect it to do, and it's a little smaller than everybody else's as far as diameter goes. It is. You get about 10% more on a reel than uh, some of the competition. So. Wow. Um, and I think it's just how it lays. I mean, braid's a weird deal. You can mic it and do all the other stuff, but it's how it loads up on a reel. So I pretty much fish pretty short top shots. I fish anywhere from, you know, about 15, 15 feet is kind of my magic number on a top shot um, as far as length goes. Yeah, 15 feet. Now, when you're splicing, how much do you put inside? I, I'm, I'm, I'm following Gary Sato's video that he did yeah. for you guys on YouTube. So I'm doing four to five feet. Okay. So I'm doing four to five feet. Um, I double crimp, although Gary doesn't recommend it. I put two crimps on it about, I don't know, half inch apart. Okay. And then I use the tack glue. And then um, as far as fluorocarbon goes, I take uh, blue label, pink label, and Premier. Okay. I, bring all, I bring all three. What I tell people is on when I'm fishing big baits in the evening, in dark, I fish blue label. It's it's a bigger diameter, a little stiffer, a little more abrasion resistant. And when you're fishing big baits, you should be fishing the big stuff. Big, you, yeah, bigger, don't, the better. I tell people, if you're fishing in the dark with a salami, with a tube mackerel, um, if you're fishing below a 150-pound test, you're you're defeating what you're you have the advantage of doing, which is fishing big line. So you're taking Seaguar Blue Label. Blue, yeah, so Blue Label I fish, you know, from you know primarily 150 pound up. So like my okay. my big bait is at least 150. Um, if you're fishing um, uh, skipjack 200, um, and then um, when I'm fishing daytime fishing, then I get kind of stealth. That's where I go for Premier. You know, if I'm fishing sardines in the middle of the day where it's a pick bite most of the time. I'm fishing, you know, 100 and 130 pound floor premier um, when I'm, you know, um, sardine fishing during the day. And if it gets really tough, I just go for pink label. I just go, I, I just bring that little. Well, maybe pink is, you know, the same mentality as why people buy pink is they think it gets a bit better than. Sometimes it does. I know, and you've been on. You've we've talked. You've, yeah. You've been on boats where you honestly saw that people fishing pink got a bit better than people fishing clear. And pink label's got a lot of the same characteristics as floor premier. It's smaller diameter. It's slimper. 
So um, pink and premier during the day, blue label in the in the low light hours. So yeah. are you? So when you say it's smaller diameter, so in other words, they always say bump up a line size if you're flishing premier. It's the same case for uh, for pink label. I think too? pink and the lighter. I think if you look at the diameters carefully, it's about the same. But see, I just I just realized when I'm fishing 130 premier or pink, I'm fishing a hundred pound diameter. Okay. So that's that's really the the least I want to fish. But as we all know that I've been on those trips that you don't see a bite all day. You know, even the skippers that preach 130 plus, I've I've heard them say, like, if you got something lighter, I'm not going to get mad at you for trying something lighter because they want to get bit, too. And if it's, you know, if it's, you know, one fish on where they can really get the attention of the crew and stuff, you could probably land that fish when it's a pretty good bite and guys are dropping down to, you know, 80, 100, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's you know, if the fish are biting, you need to fish 130 you plus. You need to fish the hip. Right, and there's guys that, you know, um, that I fish with on that trip, and I know Taka Tanaka from Takas is that guy. They never fish below 130. Their deal is we're fishing big fish, always. I, I, I'll take not getting bit to give me having the opportunity to make sure I did everything right to land that fish. The thing is, when you go long-range fishing, and you're fishing in the grounds where the big ones live, the 300 plus pound tuna, 200 plus pound tuna. You could it could be that one bite that makes your fishing career. Right? Yeah, yeah, and I tell everybody you're you are testing tackle at its ultimate. And I and I hear about failure on all different levels of tackle and gear. And the answer to anybody is we're pushing all this stuff to the ultimate limit. There's no reels fail, hooks fail, line fails, rods fail. Yeah, you know we're we're this is this is the ultimate test of tackle, and uh, and you just need to make sure everything's right. You know, make sure your knots are right, your connections are right. If you're not, if you're totally unsure, and I I know every boat down there that runs these trips, the crew are awesome at all this stuff, and you need to check with them. Yeah, you, know, you don't leave anything to chance. Don't um, don't think that your buddy who tied something up for you his knots are bad. I mean, I I tell everybody, I, I don't trust anybody's knots. Not that I don't think anybody ties bad knots. I just if I lose a fish. I only want one person to blame. Yeah. Myself. Yourself. Myself. And, you know, the, the, the crew take it super personal. You know that. You know, Andy Cates, he says every fish lost on his boat on those trips, he blames himself and his crew because he wants to put anglers in positions to land sure. those fish. So there's a lot. they put a lot of pressure on themselves. You know, so you need, you need to make sure you do your part right, which is make sure all those connections are correct. Right. And let those crew help you. Because we'd never land any of these fish. that's up to you, the connections. Right. Unless you're having the crew do the connections right. for you, right. too, which they'll do on the long range. No, absolutely. Absolutely. So um, I like the the ability to have some control over the oh, deal. Absolutely. Because so there, there's, yeah. so, there's so many things out there. That's of, why the Sato Crimp Kit is so yeah, cool. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's really cool. And if you land a good fish, and I mean good fish, um, let's just say, you know, anything over 150 is a, a great fish. Yeah. You know, I think anything over 100 they consider it as a good fish. You know, if you're on a fish for a while, you need to change those wind-ons. That's the, you know, I mean, I, you see people try to stretch a wind-on. You get one fish over 100 pounds on a wind-on, retire it. Yep. Retire it. A new one. Yeah, no, it's really, it's a small part of what we pay to go on those trips. Yeah. So when you're uh, when you're tying the connection to the hook, what do you use? Um. Okay, so I crimp on big stuff when big stuff is more for the big baits. Okay. So if I'm fishing two mackerel salamis. Um, skipjack. I I just do the crimp over 100 pound over 150. I'm going to say well, cause most of those baits I'm going to be fishing on 150. 150. Yeah. So um so I crimp. Um when I'm doing the sardines I use the improved Miller knot. Um it was one of those knots that uh, Taka insisted I learned before my first long range ah, trip. Okay. And it's uh you know there's uh, I think uh, Miller's on a YouTube video that shows how to tie. I like it because it's a small knot. Um it cinches really well in big stuff. And it's it's incredibly strong. It's an older knot. It's been around forever. But, sure. Um, I like it a little bit over the San Diego Jam knot just because of its size. Size, yeah, which sometimes makes a difference, yeah, especially know. depending on how big the sardine is. Exactly. Yeah. So um, so I use the improved Miller knot on pretty much my sardine, the you know the sardine hooks. Yeah. And then when I get to the big baits, I crimp and um, you know I, I, San Diego knot's still a great knot in Absolutely. anything. You know I, I probably. Um, when I'm fishing my PL 68s in the dark, I probably use a. I'm trying to think what. Yeah, I don't. Even, I don't think I crimped that. I think I use a San Diego jam knot because it's a. It's a big jig. Yep. Yeah. I'm not worried about you know the size of that as I'm dropping it in the dark. So. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah. It's it, they're going to eat that. Yeah. If it's going to eat it. They're going to. They're going to eat. Yeah. It. So and then the kite outfit. I let the. I pretty much let the crew rig it how they want to fish. My 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 kite rod. I usually let the crew fish it or rig it how they want it rigged. Okay. All right. Because the. So do you, does your knot differ depending on which 
Seaguar fluorocarbon, you're using the blue label, the pink label, the nope. blue uh, uh, nope. the Oh, I use the same knot regardless what not leader. Not or ma- crimp. Yeah, not or crimp. Same, uh, same leader material, um, same knot. So, like, you know, when I'm fishing, like a fish a five-day, I'm probably, I, probably, I still fish the San Diego jam knot on, when I'm fishing 30 or 40-pound fluorocarbon. Let's talk about the Sato crimp. When you're crimping 100-pound blue label versus 100-pound Premier? Premier. Oh, different crimps. It's one of the, yeah, one of the things that you, I think, Gary gives you some really great guidelines in his, in his crimping kit. Yes. I recommend getting the kit yeah. because it's, and then watching. The pro kit or the regular kit? The the one that has everything. Yeah, <laughs> the pro kit. If you're going to go, yeah, that's the pro. Get get the one that's got everything, the, the needles. It's worth it. Um, and then watch his video that he does on your YouTube yes. channel. And then um, you got to play around a little bit because the diameters are so different on our fluorocarbon, and I'm sure everybody else's. Um, hopefully you're not fishing anybody else's, but um, our fluorocarbon, the difference between Premier and Blue Label is big, and you got to go a smaller crimp, and those crimps have to go on tight. If you could, if you can slide the crimp with your hand over the braid and the fluoro, and it just goes up easy, then you need to go restart it and use the next size smaller okay, crimp. Okay, that's so a you good want tip. It, and I think Rick has you said You want this, it snug. You want it snug. You, you want to be able to have to use the pliers like he demonstrates in your video yes. to, to help slide the crimp okay. on. And the other wild card is is the braid. So realize, depending on what size braid you're using and whose braid you're using, that takes up space between the crimp and the yes. fluoro. So ours is 16 strand, so it's going to be a little, little different than a 12 strand fluoro. And it's different if I'm using 100 pound braid or 130 pound braid. Could be using the same size fluorocarbon, but the braid itself is going to be different. Okay. So I think you. My recommendation is play, I, I played around at home with the, what I was exactly going to use, and as I was building wine-ons at home, and I kind of made little notes like use this crimp with this braid matched with this fluoro is the best fit. So, But it's got to be snug. I, I, tell you, I think the whole key is the snug. Snug, yeah. Good point. Now let's talk about something new from Cigar. You're going to be introduced. You introduced a new line. Yeah, we got a new freshwater line coming out, um, and I think you know we were talking before the show like, you know, this is the year I think everybody's going to be excited that we really do have some unbelievable water opportunities in California now. Um, both in Northern Cal, the Sierras, Southern Cal is getting its share. Um, so we introduced a uh, at ICAST, which is the trade show for the industry last August, and it started shipping this last fall. But it's called Finesse. And Finesse is a freshwater double structure um, fluorocarbon mainline for freshwater fishing. 100% uh, fluorocarbon. 100% fluorocarbon. Um, using Tatsu technology, which everybody loves Tatsu. It's the, and Tatsu's still Tatsu's our amazing. premium best product, bar none, hands down, Tatsu. So it's a tad bit performance-wise below Tatsu, but it's Tatsu technology, that double structure. And it's in really specific, weird sizes. So we make it in 5.2, 6.2, 7.3, and 8.4 pounds. Because it's, it's really geared around the finesse bass market. And that's those guys are really anal retentive on exactly what size everything they use. Baits, like drop shot, yeah, right. drop shotting, shaky heads. The new Ned Rig um, uh, system by Z-Man is the, one of the hottest new um, finesse techniques to hit the freshwater scene since drop shotting. So those those guys that fish those really light line finesse presentation techniques are real specific about hook size, the jig head size, bait size, and line size. So it's it's kind of cool to have some like a 5.2 pound test. And like I said, it's double structure. So we'll be we'll be having that uh, at the Fred Hall show. We'll have a special on it for retailers that care. You know, buy it from a retailer, come over to the Seaguar booth, and we got a. I, 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 I'm not at liberty to tell what the specials are, but everybody yes. everybody knows that don't miss out on going to the Fred Hall show if you need fluorocarbon yes. and and braid. Because yeah. um, that's a Fred Hall Long. That's Beach a show. Fred Hall show Long Beach. We got a big 20 foot Seaguar booth in there. Will the deal be good in San Diego? Um, I think some of our retailers might be extending it through their booths. Okay. Um, Cigar will not have a booth in Del Mar, but we'll have the you know the big booth in uh, in uh, Long Beach. So we'll have deals on the finesse line through you know you buy them through retailers and you come by the cigar booth and then we give you your your free goods. Yes. I won't tell you what the free goods are, but I'll say it's a great deal. So that is good for the new finesse line. It's but good for top So um, no, I don't. I, I'm trying to think what the promotions we're running at the show through retailers. So we try to pick and choose what we want to what what we want to promote. But we'll definitely have a promotion on finesse. We'll definitely have a promotion on Flora Premier. Um, so don't miss out on that. Um, and all sizes, so long range and and local. We'll have a pink label promotion 
and then we always do a Threadlock promotion as well. So oh. those are I can tell you those are the promotions. So if you need fresh water line, if you need braid, or you need saltwater leader material, don't don't miss out on the uh, Fred Hall Long Beach show. And, and we see it every year. Every, we've been doing the show with Seaguar for. I'm not sure 15 years, but you know, definitely well over a decade. And you'll be showing all if you want to learn connections yeah, and stuff like that. Well, you yeah, have the guys uh, in the, in yeah. The I, I spend most of my time uh, in educating people, which is I, I, we have two booths. I mean, you know, 20 foot a booth, and one's one's a table where I just sit there and talk about connections and yeah. how how stuff works. Because yeah. you know, I can sell people product all day long, but the, my job is to really not only sell to people, is to get people to use it correctly, so then they go have the best success with it because that's my favorite is teaching somebody something new and then they come back to the show the next year and they have some great fish pictures awesome. i always go by the booth you're always busy doing yeah and it's fun i mean that's really what we do is is try to we sell fun and then we want to we educate yeah, i mean if that's my job no different than when i taught you to fly fish i love that's teaching right. people how to do things and then go do them do them right as yourself yeah so. for sure well as you can hear we have a great show lined up for you today dale's a wealth of knowledge about freshwater fly fishing, freshwater bass fishing, long-range fishing, local fishing. He's got it all covered here. And he comes from quite the family, the fabulous fishing high towers, as my uh, former partner Marty Milner used to call them. Coined by Marty. Uh, yeah, for sure. And we have a great uh, show for you today. So 858-457-1090. There's a line open there. 877 877- Seven nine two ten ninety. There's a line open there, and one lucky caller is in for something good today. Dale has bought a four pack of Seaguar Pink Label, uh, four spools in various sizes for that'll cover uh, a lot of different uh, fishing for you. It should so, definitely cover the uh, the local yeah. fishing market and beyond. Yeah. So a nice four pack for one lucky caller of Seaguar Pink Label. Fluorocarbon, love that stuff. And when we come back, we're going to take your phone calls. Talk more fishing here with Dale. Stay tuned. This is Southern California Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. When bad weather and rough seas send other boats back to the docks, SeaKeeper allows you to fish longer and fish harder, even in the roughest conditions. Don't believe us? Just listen to what Southern California's own Captain Pete Grosbeck says. He says we're very impressed with the whole operation of the SeaKeeper. We live bait a lot. We go slow, which puts us in the trough. And now basically there is no trough. SeaKeeper's newest offering, the SeaKeeper 3, is optimized to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on boats between 30 and 39 feet. Even better, the gyro is so small it can fit inside a customized leaning post, bringing installation down to a mere two days. To learn more about how SeaKeeper can change your life on the water and to schedule your free demo, go to SeaKeeper.com. Take a ride. Be amazed. SeaKeeper. Fisherman's Landing is the top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew is always looking for ways to improve your fishing experience. We offer the finest open party trip from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. We are proud to say Fisherman's Landing is now a full-service sport fishing operation, offering half-day trips on the Dolphin, and now, for the first time in the long history of Fisherman's Landing, we have three-quarter day open party trips on the Liberty. We built the Liberty specifically to offer a better experience. Run by veteran captain Taro Takeuchi, the 85-foot Liberty is the first open party three-quarter day boat to offer bunks for your comfort. She also has huge bait capacity and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big galley and two interior heads with showers. Our open party trips from half day, three-quarter day, or one to three day trips can be easily booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. There's a new kid in town and they are creating near miracles on boats all over the Southland. It's Blue Seas Fabrication, the West Coast first and only certified Sea Deck fabricator and installer. Install Sea Deck EVA from non-skid decking materials on your boat, sport fisher, or yacht, and your boating experience is enhanced and improved. Why? Well, first, Sea Deck from Blue Seas Fabrication enriches the look of any boat, old or new. 
Next, the Sea Deck non-skid decking material adds comfort, convenience, safety, and value. The possibilities are endless. Let the experts from Blue Seas Fabrication show you how Sea Deck will make your life easier and better on every trip. Their professional staff will custom fit your deck, bridge, and interior with the stylish, non-absorbent, stain-resistant, and easy-to-clean material in multiple textures, designs, and colors. Sea Deck offers comfort and anti-fatigue properties for those long days of fishing. It can also be used on kayaks, boat trailers, and more. See for yourself. Check BlueSeasFabrication.com to see how Sea Deck can transform your watercraft and truly create a wow factor for the next time you head out. Call them at 858-232-4188 for more information and a free quote. Check BlueSeasFabrication.com and enhance your fishing experience. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing. And it's all run by fishermen for fishermen. 1717 Quivera Road, just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay. Book online at SeaforthLanding.com. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. FishDope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com is for everyone, whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. FishDope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have FishDope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use this special code to save $20 on a new FishDope.com membership. Check it out today. FishDope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Welcome back to Let's Talk. Hook up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here along with Dale Hightower. Having a great time talking seagar, floor tar- carving, long-range fishing. We're talking fly fishing. Uh, you still do a lot of fly fi- I know, you know long-range I- fishing on the rooster is your passion. You spent 30 days on the rooster last year. Yeah, yeah well, almost 30. Almost, uh, 30. almost 30. Yeah, um, it wasn't planned. Um, we had a little, I ended up taking my dad's eight-day. had a couple things come up with our family, and my dad couldn't go. So, so I had to fill in for him, and he's Wahoo crazy anybody yep. knows my dad oh, all he, he only Big cares Daddy loves he literally he only cares about one fish in the whole world and it's wahoo, wahoo. and i knew when i took over that trip in october that it was going to be one of those wahoo trips and uh and it was we it put was. like 260 wahoo oh. in like in like two days on the ridge it was it was crazy wow it was that's crazy good fishing. Good. Yeah, so I knew because... And, and so your dad was just going, oh, what a trip to miss, right? Yeah, I filled his freezer with Wahoo, so yeah, he wasn't he wasn't bummed. He was so. happy. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather change... I mean, my deal is I love the five-day. Um, I think the five-day trip that I do with, as a sponsor trip with Cigar and my other manufacturers like Hayabusa and Catchy Tackle, um, it's just cool because it's the it's the smorgasbord of fishing. And I like yellowtail fishing. Yeah. So, um, and, and I was lucky enough on the last five day and I, we had Jerry Benedicto from Seagar on the oh, show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Remember we did that, that your guys' yeah. show and yep. then we came in and, and then the next day we, um, jumped on the rooster. Anyhow, um, we got all of our yellows on iron and that was the first Sweet. time Jerry had ever caught yellowtail on iron. iron. Not, 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 just, not just iron, surface iron. Surface iron. Surface oh, iron. Man. So I had some old candy bar jigs that were like 30 years old that, um, I think the fish swam from the Coronados to Cedros to eat them. It was so wow. good. Wow. So yeah, so that was fun. I, and I, anytime you can catch fish on surface sure. iron, it was awesome. And you still get the you know the tuna and you know miscellaneous. Yeah. Um, the trip I really love is chasing these big fish. Yeah. You know you get it up. It's under your skin. Yeah, it's just a different. It's, it's a, a long, different. Dedi- it's a it's, long. It's a It's a process. Commitment. That's what I tell people. It's a process. You're hunting these fish. You're not fishing for them. And um, and you're every day you just wake up and you hope today you yeah. catch one. Yeah. Or hook one. Or hook you don't one. even care if you catch one. one. You want to get bit. Yeah. And uh, some days you get more than one bite, and other days you wait between days to get a bite. So, so it's it's a little bit of a mindset. Yeah. But um, like you said, it's you don't know every bite what that fish is. That's the kind of exciting part. Yeah. No doubt about it. Well, hey guys, want to talk to you? Eight five eight four five seven ten ninety. Those lines are full, but one line open on our toll free line is eight seven seven. 
seven nine two ten ninety. We're giving our great four pack of cigar fluorocarbon to one lucky caller today. So jump on it, get in the lineup here, and uh, we're going to jump back right into the phones. Talk off with Tony in San Marcos. Good morning, Tony. Uh, good morning, Pete. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Tony. Hey, I heard you talk a little bit about uh, connections from uh, fluorocarbon to hooks. What knots do you use from fluorocarbon to mono and fluorocarbon to spectra? What are the best knots? All right. This one's this one I, I get all the time, and I, I, I teach them down at the Long Beach show. So the mono to fluoro is called the Seagar knot. So it's uh, – if you go to Seagar.com, so that's S-E-A-G-U-A-R, I believe they have a knot tying um, demonstration on there yep. for the Seagar knot. So that's Floro da Mono. And then, Such an easy knot. It is easy. And it's it's not a pretty knot. I tell you, it's not like one of those knots you just look at and it's the most beautiful knot you've ever seen. It is strong. It is strong. So it's a, I'd say it's got C on looks and A on strength, you yeah. know. And then the um, the John Collins knot, which I believe is demonstrated on the your YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. So the John right. Collins knot, also referred to as RP knot, yep. it's AKA. So that knot is the knot you tie Florida braid or Florida spectra. So and that knot is another easy knot. So very easy and strong. It's super strong. I tell people I, you know, some of these bigger bluefin that we saw off the coast. And I mean, an 80 pound bluefin is still a big bluefin. You know, I'm still tying it in 60 and 80 pound out there. Yeah. So. Um, so I, I pretty much use that to about 60 or 80 pound, and then after that's when I get into the trick wind-ons and yeah. trick connections. So uh, John Collins knot, uh, fluoro to spectra, Seagar knot, fluoro to mono, and then the fluoro to the hook, um, San Diego jam knot, or like I said on the big stuff, I like that improved Miller. So Very good. All right. Hey, hope that helps you out. Good questions, Tony. Thanks a lot for the call. If you want access on all that social media information like our youtube channel uh, uh the link to the cigar website uh, it's on our website hookup1090.com for the cigar website you just go to the links page and you click on cigar fluorocarbon take you right to there and then you search for the cigar knot it's right there yeah. they're, they're not booked and then for our let's talk hookup radio show youtube channel where you'll find the john collins knot um, Sato crimping and and many others. Uh, there's a video on there finished on the Whalers Cove trip. Uh, working on one right now for our journeyman trip. There's all kinds of different videos and of course every archive. Uh, this show and every previous show is archived on our YouTube channel. Easy to access. Let's talk, uh, hook up 1090.com on the top right corner in most browsers. Some browsers it doesn't work, but most browsers it does. Uh, you just go to the top right. You click on the you, the red YouTube icon, and that will take you right to our page. Or if you don't see those icons, just go to YouTube and search Let's Talk Hookup Radio Show, and that will get you right onto that. So it's cool, some cool stuff on there. Yeah, and no. It, the, very fortunate, especially having John Collins teach you the John Collins. Oh, thing. I know. Having Gary Sato teach you the Sato crimp. Yeah, and, and, and knots are visual. Yeah. You know, you can see little diagrams all you want to. When somebody shows you one like you can see on a video – or in person, yeah. which is basically videos like being in person without being there. So, yeah, it's very cool, and it's the best way to learn. I, I've got a new one. I, 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 it will, maybe we'll do this at the Long Beach or something like that. Dale Hightower teaching the cigar nod on our YouTube channel. We could do that. That's coming, man. We could do it. Yeah, we're going to do All it. All right, let's do it. All right, very good. Hey, look who's on the line. Mark Rayer from Gen Ren Sport Fish. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Dale. Morning. It's a beautiful morning in Baja. Oh, man. Uh, making us jealous. I'm enjoying the show. I I I have to admit I'm uh, my crew has spoiled me and I'm a little behind on my knots. I, Diego is so good at tying them that that this old these old eyes and fingers kind of stumble through it when I have to do it myself. But somehow we get it done. I know um, the feeling, Mark. <laughs> Diego's I, I, a master, I, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to say I've been a little grumpy lately because I'm. Uh, um, I'm getting cabin fever. I haven't been fishing. We've got our boats and, and dry dock working on them. And, uh, but I woke up really happy this morning. I woke up happy because I can clearly see the light at the end of the tunnel. It'll be less than a month. We'll be at Fred Hall exhibiting. Um, and then as soon as we finish the show, we'll be back in, in Baja and putting our boats in the water. So Sweet. they're already catching yellowtail, uh, amberjack, 
there's a pretty good spot of Dorado right out in front of Palmas de Cortez early in the morning. I had fresh Dorado for dinner last night. Oh. Um, so it, it, it baits piling, piling up everywhere. It, it looks like the weather has gotten more back to normal than the El Nino that we have suffered with the last couple of years, and I'm looking for a stellar season this year. Yeah, just because it just seems like a normal year, and we all know that a normal year in the East Cape means really good fishing. Pete, I am really happy. Yeah. Oh, that's good, Mark. Ask, we we like a ask, happy ask, Mark Rayer, right, Dale? Absolutely. Ask, ask, <laughs> ask me how happy I am. How happy are you? Pete, I am so happy that I am going to make a special offer for Let's Talk Hookup listeners only. Whoa. This is the only place or time that you will hear this. Okay. And I'm going to offer $100 off on any charter that's booked for this season. If you come see us in Orange County in two weeks, we'll be in Orange County exhibiting in two weeks. And for anybody that uh, that comes and sees us there, I'm going to offer $100 off to any Let's Talk Look Up listener. You have to mention Let's Talk Look Up because you're not going to hear this offer anyplace else. Wow. That 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 goes for the Palmas de Cortez Let's Talk Look Up tournament in October. That goes. We have a boat for that. That goes for. The Let's Talk Cook Up Tournament in June in Rancho Leonero, we have a boat for that. I also have a, a Cabo for the East Cape Bisbee. Uh, book three days for the Bisbee, get $300 off for a tournament. I mean, that's that's a pretty amazing deal. Do you think that's enough? Do you think that's enough for your listeners? Yeah. Or, well, how about the Fred? Or, let's talk about a real show. How about the, the show in Long Beach called Fred Hall? Why don't you offer that 100 bucks off at Fred Hall? Well, I'm going to have a different special for that show. I have packages. Oh, I have package okay. specials where you can save from 600 to 1000 dollars on a package with accommodations. Okay. Um, so that's a little. That's going to be a little different deal. Okay. But uh, all right, Mark. Uh, there, 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 Pete. There's more. Okay. There is more. <laughs> yeah. um, we have got the scoop, and we are going to do. We are going to unveil that we're going to have the first public showing of the new Valiant 500. Wow. Nobody has ever seen this. There's only four of them in existence right, existence right now, and Accurate has agreed to let us unveil it at this show in two weeks. So if you want to fondle, be the first to fondle on a, a new Valiant 500, you can come to this show. Uh, Justin will be there, for the, the international sales manager of Accurate, and he will be, be displaying the 500 for sure. He's trying to scramble around and get a 500 narrow, Right now, there's only four or five hundred in existence. They're nice. they're ramping up production, so they'll have them for Fred Hall. Fantastic, Mark. Well, hey, GenRansportFishing.com for more information. Uh, book that special deal with Mark and uh, enjoy your Dorado down there, Mark. We'll talk to you real soon. Appreciate the call. All right, let's go ahead and jump back in the phones and let's talk to Eddie calling from Vista. Good morning, Eddie. Thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Dale. Morning. Hey, I got a chance to use the uh, Floral Premier on the uh, Let's Talk Hookup Guadalupe trip, oh. and I was really impressed. And stuff. I, I love it. <laughs> I'm now a Seabar fan. Awesome. Well, I'm a fan that you got to go to Guadalupe. <laughs> and, Eddie, that was, uh, that was amazing because the Premier, that was tough, fishing those small sardines and those fish were finicky, and the Premier made a difference, didn't it? Yeah, and I was using 60, which is like... 50, and I caught one fish on 80, which is like 60. Correct. And I got my personal best, and Pete took a picture of it, and I got a new birthday present last week from my wife. She took that picture and took it to, to Costco and had a big canvas made. I'm so stoked. Wow, that's, that's cool. so cool. So how big was that fish, Eddie? Uh, it was 113 at the dock. I got second place in the jackpot. Yeah, and they, awesome. and the, Sean at Fisherman's Landing told me to add 13 pounds to it for the, you know, for the blood. Oh, guts. easy. Yeah, guts. because they took out all the guts and the blood and so, everything. So like we that. figured 126. Yeah. Well, that's congratulations. A, that's, that's a great, great fish. That's a great Guadalupe fish. That's a great fish. That's a great one. fish. Yeah. That's period. Really great. So yeah, you, you got to be very excited to get that up on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going excited. on our Let's Talk Hookup Shogun six day again in November? 
Yeah, it's already paid for. Awesome. <laughs> You know what? It's already sold out, too. Uh, so, but, damn. Yeah. That's going to be a great trip. Any, well, just, yeah, that's a great trip. Thank you news. again, Pete. You bet, man. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Congratulations. Going Thanks for fishing again. our product. Yeah, you bet. It's good stuff. It really makes a difference. I mean, that there, there were times, of course, this summer, that last summer, that that fish was really biting. Right. It didn't matter. But uh, some days and some trips, man, they they were tough. Tough, tough goes, and you needed kind of a little more stealth approach, right? Yeah, and that's where you know we were talking. It's when it's if it's a daytime pick bite, man. I'm fishing premier, you know. I'm fishing it. It's I, I know it's much smaller diameter, just like Eddie had the right. He said, you know, you're fishing 80, but you're really fishing 60 diameter. If you're fishing 60, you're really fishing 50 diameter, yeah. and uh, you give up a little bit on that. You give up a ra- abrasion resistance because smaller diameter does not have the abrasion resistance of bigger diameter. But if you don't get bit, if you don't get bit, you you it, can't it, you can't yeah. apply the abrasion resistance. Yeah. It doesn't matter, right? So, yeah. And I know that you believe it. I know that uh, Ricky believes it. I believe it. I think there's a lot of people like Eddie that now believes it. You, you, you gotta you put got everything, it. and it's and it's limper. See, the other thing people don't realize, a bait swims better not only because of the smaller diameter, but the the, the line is limper. It's yeah. not as stiff. It swims more naturally. The whole goal of picking a bait out of the bait tank and, and handling it gently and hooking it gently and, and casting it out gently is to make sure that bait's not stressed, trauma, and wants it to str- swim like a natural bait. Yeah. So that's the key to getting bit. I hope it is. Yeah, no, so, d- no doubt about it. And those pick sure. bites you're talking about makes, you know, it's all the, the, the difference between catching one fish and catching zero fish. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, the, and that's the difference between Premier and Blue Label. Right. Both great products, and right. Pink Label for that matter, too. Right. Both great products, but just a little, and especially on that fish at Guadalupe that's 60 to 130, like the one that Eddie caught, you can get away with, you know, fishing that 80-pound fluoro premier uh, and versus if you're fishing at the islands and you have a chance to hook a 200 or 250-pounder, you know, you, you know. Yeah, it's a different. That's, it's a different game. It's a different animal, and and what I saw this summer, and I know you fished a bunch, and I was lucky enough not just to fish on the rooster, but I fished you know some some local stuff where they really bit at forty three. The, the best bite I think I got on all year, as far as just seeing something, is seeing uh, I was on the fortune that with Bruce Smith. With Bruce, the and um, and I've known Bruce Smith for. By the way, I, I've known Bruce for years because of fly fishing, yeah. and never fished out his boat, which oh, is really? funny. He uh, does, he's running yeah, he's awesome. But we got I was on a it was a day and a half charter and. Uh, those yellow fin mixed with the blue fin was the, when they bit at the 43. So you were seeing 70, 80 pound blue fin mixed with the same size of you know our, our yellow, fin. yellow fin. So that was crazy because the yellow fin, you know, in my book, uh, outperformed as far as fight goes oh, than the blue fin. Yeah. But what you saw and what I w- try to explain to people, even fishing the you know the flat fall jigs, you better had a piece of fluorocarbon and not just light fluorocarbon because I saw fish getting lost because they inhale those jigs. You know that they actually literally swallow them. Now it's straight leader on the you know the mouth of a you know hundred pound bluefin tuna. So you know I was telling you we sold a lot of heavier fluorocarbon than most guys would think about fishing. Right. Just because if you're fishing, you a, if you weren't fishing you know eighty or one hundred pound on the flat fall jigs, I think you were wasting your time fishing for them. Yeah, no doubt. That that's a good point. Hey Scott Sherman, good morning. Hey guys, how you doing? Great Gr- show. Great. Hey Scott. Uh, Quick question for you on the uh, fluoro. I know we talk about all the, the different types, you know, the blue and the pink and the premier. But, you know, m- most of your fluoro is fairly pricey, and a lot of guys can't afford to throw, you know, eight or nine spools of different types of fluoro in their bag. If if you had one type of fluoro, uh, what what would be your go-to? Uh, I would say you can't go wrong with fluoro premier. Because you could always buy, you could always go up a size in Premier if you need that extra abrasion resistance for like what I'm talking about night fishing you can then just go one size heavier than you'd normally fish yeah. and then you'd be fishing like blue label diameter so, so gotcha. but what's the difference between the properties of blue label and floral Premier both for, double structure yeah both double structure I'd say um, blue label stiffer and harder okay. so the, the 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 it's a harder you know material more abrasion resistance more abrasion resistance. Okay. And it's harder, so that's where you get that whole abrasion resistance. Okay. Whereas Floor Premier is limper and smaller in diameter, so um, it, it's it's kind of a trade-off. Diameter has a lot to do with abrasion resistance, but if you 
realistically, if you had the same size diameter blue label and the same size diameter of Floor Premier, blue label is going to have more vibration resistance because of its hardness. But Floor Premier is going to be a little softer, so you're, it's going to be easier to work with, not tying. Your bait's going to swim better. So I just tell everybody, if you only had one, your question is, if you only had to have one, I just do, do Floor Premier and then, you know, fish it a little heavier if you need more abrasion resistance. Got it. Thank you so very much. And, uh, hey, Pete, did you see that picture I sent you all those lobsters the other day? Man, they're crawling, huh? We went uh, Thursday, you know, right after the storms and the big surf. And, you know, first couple of hoops didn't have anything, and then the next few had a, a bunch in it. And so we carpet bombed this one area that we found, and it was game on. We were done by about 8.30 with limits for three guys. How about that? That's good fishing. That's yeah, I tell you, after the after the storms and after the surf, boy, they they have a tendency to get out and move they, around. They you like find the right spot, just carpet bomb it, and you can do pretty well. That's pretty cool. Well, Scott, good. How's things at Snap Insurance? Doing well, buddy. Things are making the transition. You know, there's always a couple little hiccups when you when you merge with another company, but we're getting those figured out, and things are starting to move pretty smooth right now. So we're we're pretty happy, and been getting a, a lot of calls from uh, people who reference the show when. Uh, John and I were on there the other day. We got a lot of contractors calling, asking questions, those kind of things. So it's been going real well. Fantastic. All right, Scott, we'll keep getting them, and thanks for the call. Appreciate that very much. And when we come back, more of your phone calls. Hey, we just had a local line open up at 858-457-1090. You want to get through? There's your shot. There's more Let's Talk Look Up coming your way right here on the Mighty 1090. When bad weather and rough seas send other boats back to the docks, SeaKeeper allows you to fish longer and fish harder, even in the roughest conditions. Don't believe us? Just listen to what Southern California's own Captain Pete Grosbeck says. He says, we're very impressed with the whole operation of the SeaKeeper. We live bait a lot. We go slow, which puts us in the trough. And now basically there is no trough. SeaKeeper's newest offering, the SeaKeeper 3, is optimized to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on boats between 30 and 39 feet. Even better, the gyro is so small it can fit inside a customized leaning post, bringing installation down to a mere two days. To learn more about how SeaKeeper can change your life on the water and to schedule your free demo, go to SeaKeeper.com. Take a ride. Be amazed. SeaKeeper. For over five decades, Lee Palm Sport Fishing has set the standard in long-range fishing that they pioneered long ago. The Red Rooster 3 sets a new standard of excellence. The Red Rooster 3 is one of the most modern, quiet, and fastest long-range vessels in the fleet. They have handpicked the finest crew to make your trip a memorable one. The Red Rooster 3 offers trips from 3 to 18 days and runs year-round to the best fishing spots on the planet. Ride the Red Rooster 3 once and you'll be back again. Call the Red Rooster 3 at 619 224 38 57 or see them on the web at redrooster3.com. Yamaha's Choose Reliability sales event is on. For a limited time, purchase a new select eligible 2.5 to 300 horsepower four-stroke outboard and receive either two free years of Yamaha extended service coverage or up to $1,500 in dealer credit. Reliability starts here. Yamaha. Offer ends March 31st, 2017. Subject to change at any time. Other restrictions and conditions apply. Choice offered to Florida residents is a 24-month Yamaha limited warranty. See authorized participating Yamaha outboard dealers for details. This promotion cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. Sport fishing, not just for dad anymore. At Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, kids fish free every Sunday. Free half-day fishing trip and clinic free for kids 12 and under every Sunday at Dana Wharf. Join the Dana Wharf Kids Club and get over $100 of really cool stuff like two free fishing trips, a free whale watch trip, and more. Dana Wharf, everyone's favorite since 1971. Click DanaWharf.com or visit them in the Dana Point Harbor, the fast capital of the West, and only minutes from the 5 Freeway in Orange County. DanaWharf.com, where kids fish free. Have you been looking for a live bait hook that keeps live bait alive? Look no further than Japan's leading fish hook, Gamakatsu. It's the little things that make the difference, and Gamakatsu hooks drive the point home. With an absolute perfect bend and ideal barbs, your bait swims harder and longer. And when you get bit, Gamakatsu hooks bite back with a vengeance. All hooks are not the same. Go with Gamakatsu for infinite success. Gamakatsu, simply the best. Check Gamakatsu.com. 
Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer Resorts have become a destination for travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two-hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877-777-TUNA for more information. Van Warmer Resorts. Resorts, the East Cape's finest. This is SRS 1090 AM, Rosarito, Baja California. You're listening to the home of the Aztec. What the clam dunk? That's what I'm talking about. San Diego sports leader, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here along with Mr. Dale Hightower from Seaguar Floral Tar- Carbon. Having a great time talking floral carbon, talking about the great properties of the different types of floral carbon that Seaguar makes. Uh, and we're giving away a really nice four-pack of Seaguar Pink Label, one of my favorite uh, ones. You can fish big fish, small fish, every kind of fish. It's mostly designed for saltwater fishing, right? I would say pink has its following in saltwater, not yeah. much in fresh. Yeah, but... As for fresh, the new finesse is the new finesse. I'm excited about. I'm, yeah, I'm excited about. It. I've got my skeeter. I haven't even had it on the water since last spring because saltwater fishing was so good that I drive by it every day. I have it stored down the street, and I like. I have, I have a little tear. I'm like, man, I really want to get that on the water, but it's coming up. I'm gonna, I got a couple of weeks on the delta that I'm going to be scheduling it. A little appointment to go fish the Delta and go catch some big largemouth over there. Now, with those um, weights that you were talking about, the finesse comes in. What about fly fishing with finesse? Um, I think that it probably matches up pretty close with some of the diameters on the that X system with uh, with uh, fly fishing. Although that Grand Max is, if you fly fish that Grand Max leader material that we make, it's Tatsu. Yeah, it's actually same. it's actually. A hair better than Tatsu. Tatsu on steroids. Yeah, yeah. How is that possible? Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. I know a lot of the the fly fishing guides, they just get Tatsu, and then they just, because they go through so much of it, they get those, the, the 200 yards full of Tatsu goes a lot longer yeah. than 25 yards or 25 meters of tip of material on a small spool. Sure, and it's basically the same right. kind of But I guarantee that the finesse of some of those guides will figure out what the diameter matchup is, if it's the, you know, the size they're fishing pretty uh, regularly. Yeah, very good. Well, 858-457-1090, open right now. You want to get through, there's your chance. Talk to the guys that invented fluorocarbon. Invented it, like, I think, well, over 40. It's probably getting close to 50 years now. It's got to be at least 45 years. Pretty amazing. It's changed It's changed everything. Yeah, I, I'm excited on how technology keeps improving, not just on fluorocarbon, but just fishing. Everything. Yeah, yeah. it's it fun. It's getting better. Yeah, I mean, you start catching stuff. I caught my first fish on a flat fall jig. I never... Never had any confidence in it because you don't do anything. Is with that it. fun or what? Yeah, yeah, and I was like, you know, what was it? It was a bluefin. A bluefin. Yeah, it was. It was on uh, Bruce's boat. Nice. Yeah, yeah, but it was like, oh, and I've been fishing it for like a year trying to catch a fish on it, and my dad swears by me. He's like, dude, you just cast out and they just yeah, eat it. And they were. How I, what size? What size flat ball? I think the two fifties, the big, yeah, or the big one. The, yeah, it was the two fifty was we were um, fishing. Yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah, but I caught a fish on it, and it was like, wow, that was pretty cool. That was actually, it was like just the bite was cool. It's like chunking. Like when you catch your first chunk fish, you're like, oh, I wonder what the bite's like. And it's like a freight train hits it. And you're like, oh, that's what it feels like. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Put it in gear and wine, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, indeed. All right, hey, this portion of the show, uh, Castman's probably on the lake down in El Salto. I don't think there's very good reception on El Salto. Oh, uh, I feel sorry for him y- yeah. right now. And Rick. And, and Rick, yeah, yeah, catching big bass. Susan Art from Dana Lanny's down there with them, yeah. You don't think yeah. they're drinking any beer down there, do I you? I don't think so. No, I yeah. don't think so. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> the catch report today, sponsored in part by Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Fisherman's Processing is San Diego's finest. That's why they're known as the Fish Pros. Once you try them, you're going to be hooked. They'll fillet and vacuum pack your fish to your specifications. You want one pound packs, you want one and a half pound packs, two pound packs, whatever. One of the things I love what they do is a sushi cut. You get a nice grade yellowfin tuna, and you tell them to get the sushi cups. They've got those nice back loins and make a big like three pound sushi cut for you 
Oh, so good. I'm so hungry. Yeah, it's so good. Hey, they also do their famous tuna burgers and their jerky, too. Fishermansprocessing.com for more details or just see them when your trip returns to the San Diego landings. Let's go ahead and talk to Matt in La Mesa. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Pete. Good morning, Dale. Good morning. I was calling to find out how does tying your fluorocarbon compare against say, black water oh, or something like that? Great question. Gosh, I love great questions, Pete. Okay, so one of the things that's totally exclusive to SIGAR is this double structure formulation. In fact, from what I understand, I think it's patented, but it's the we're the only company that does it. And not all our products have it, so some of our freshwater products like Invisex and Abrazex don't. But Blue Label and Flora Premier do. And the reason that that we do this double structure is because it gives you, it's two different resins and the two different resins, it's not like a coating over a line. It is actually two different resins fused together during this, you know, extrusion process. And they're able to pick resins that are lend itself better to not strength to put on the outside of the product. And then the inside is your core strength, your tensile strength. So it gives us way more parameters to build a stronger fishing line or leader material. So Tatsu's double structure, the new Finesse Line's double structure, Floor Premier's double structure, Blue Label's double structure. So if you looked at it compared to anybody else's floor carbon, and I don't want to just pick Blackwater, so anybody's floor carbon, everybody else's single structure. And if you looked at knot strength alone, right, our knot strength will far be superior than any other product out there on our products that have double structure. Interesting. And, and that's one of the things – that Seaguar takes super serious because yeah. it doesn't matter. So that tensile strength, you, everybody hears about, that's straight pull. Okay, well, nobody straight pulls anything without a knot if you fish yeah. or a connection, yeah. right? Some type, of some, connection. Type, some type of connection. So there's, there's products out there by competition that have great tensile strength. Like if you just straight pulled it, you're like, man, that's strong. And then the second you tie a knot in it, it loses its strength by 50%. So the knot strength is like 50% of what the actual tensile strength of the line is, which is horrible. So where Seaguar takes that all super serious because knot strength is as important as tensile strength because all of us have to attach it to a hook and or to another product, whether it's a, a braid or fluoro. So that's what makes our, these products so much better, and it's more expensive to make a double structure fluorocarbon. And it's patented, and you'll see that in our literature and on our website. So Blue Label, Floor Premier on our saltwater side, Tatsu Finesse on our freshwater side, and then Grand Max on our fly fishing side is double structure. And our, our single structure products like Pink Label and Invisex and Brazex, because we make our own resin, still have better knot strength and tensile strength than any other products out there that's like our competitions. But when you start comparing our premium products like Premier and Blue Label, there's nothing... The knot strength is... So when you say knot strength, that would be the John Collins knot. John the, Collins knot, the, San Diego jam knot. Jam it, knot. It's it, how, doesn't it doesn't matter what ma- the knot is. Right. It's just, whether it's a Seaguar knot, a, right. a, a mono to fluorocarbon, a uh, spectra to fluorocarbon, the, all the knots. Right. The yeah, they, they, the they, they formulate those outer resins on double structure products to give you the ultimate in knot strength regardless of the yeah. knot. And that's the technology. And then that inner resin is your strength your impact strength and so it's a combination so it's it just gives you more a bigger palette you know it's like having more ingredients to make something out of as opposed to just having if you just had you know one ingredient it's plain jane if you have multiple ingredients gives you more variations how to use that and we make our own resins no other floor carbon company in the world makes our own resins so we make those resins specifically for those properties specifically those resins on the outside were created not to use in the battery division or whatever other divisions that that um, fluorocarbon is used for, which, you know, um, um, cell phone batteries is a whole different division. Um, the bottom line is that resin was created for Floor Premier for to be on the outside and give you the best tensile strength. So every resin that we use in our products is specifically formulated for fishing line only, not to be used in other divisions. So, yeah. Okay, let's talk about the competition while we while we uh, while Matt brought the su- subject right. up. Uh, let's talk about Pink Label, Seaguar Pink Label versus I believe Yozuri was the other. Pink yeah, so carbon. and it's the what's it's, the difference? I think the big difference is is the Seaguar's technology, which Seaguar's technology is we make our own resins. No other company does that. We make our own product, 
and we formulate and give you the characteristics fishermen's want. Um, most companies, and I, I can't speak for anybody else, but I, I know for a fact nobody makes their own resins except Seaguar. And even if you made your own product, you have to buy the resins from the three other resin manufacturers, which are basically just making commercial-grade resins for battery divisions. So um, you're just you're limited. It's that whole, no matter how you cut it up, I guarantee if you're not making your own resins and you're not making your own product and you're letting somebody else have that quality control and trying to figure out how to build it, um, I say hands down that there's no other product on the market that compares to any cigar product. So if you can compare Pink Label to, you know, brand-wise, you know, Pink, if you stack it up, not strength, tensile strength, flexibility, hands down, Pink Label is going to win. And if you t- stack Invisex up to another brand in Freshwater, you know, you're going to see the same thing. That's it. And it's it's that attention to detail. And the other thing to point out, a lot of our products are level wound. So is anybody, if anybody pays attention, which I'm sure you paid attention as it comes off, it's actually coiled right next to each other. It's perfectly coiled on the spools. That's done by hand. Really? So that somebody does that by hand. When you buy a spool a of Floral Premier, Pink Label, Blue Label, from Tatsu, Cigar. from Seaguar, it comes off the spool perfectly coiled next to each other. And what's the advantage of that? The advantage is you don't have a bunch of contact points. Uh-huh. So Now, granted, once you put it on a reel on a line winder, you're going to have contact points. Sure. But it's, what, it's, what it's saying is... Where it's stored. Where it's stored, it comes off. Those contact points put a little pressure on and it's, you know, it, on the spool, and it stays there for a while, depending on how long it's been on the spool. Yeah. So almost all lines been done that way. But to keep it perfect till you get it, until you put it on your reels, you know, most of our products, I'm not saying 100%, but almost all the products we fish um, are all level wound. And that also ensures that you have... Because I've been told, I don't know what the scientific data exactly says, but it increases performance by 10%, and that's tensile strength and memory and all the other. Those contact points put pressure on it. It's by not having the contact points, gives you a super relaxed, fully, like it came off of the um, extraction or re- extrusion machines. So, yeah, no, I actually saw some about how it's treated from the time it's made till the time we get to fish it. And there is some white glove treatment to this. Pretty amazing. And it's like for floor car, for, for just six feet of line that we're putting yeah. on the end of our line with a live sardine on it. It's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. It's a big deal to me. So. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot for the call, Matt. And when we come back, we're going to find out what's biting out there, get into our catch report, and, of course, more of your phone calls for Dale Hightower from Cigar Floor Carbon. Stay tuned. A lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way right here on the Mighty 1090. Alaska is one of the ultimate fishing destinations in the world. This is Rock Cod Rick, and every year the one trip I look forward to is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. My dad and I have been going for over 15 years, and I just can't wait to go again. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, the finest fishing charter captains in all of Sitka, and the ultimate value. Sure, I've been to others, but time and time again, nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. You can catch huge halibut like the ones we do almost every Every year and salmon well Sitka is famous for some of the best runs in Alaska we also get plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod and when it comes to fish processing the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters and listen to this it's all included in your package in fact everything is included except the tips it's truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year come and join me on the let's talk hookup trip in June or just go when you can Kingfisher Charters 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. Walk down the docks these days, and guys are eager to show off their expensive new coolers. Makes me wonder what the world's coming to if a guy can spend $500 on a cooler. Oh, well, what do I know? I know this. Those new coolers are a heck of a lot better than the old coolers I used to trot around. In fact, that's what got Paul Cabell in at Angle USA thinking about a better cooler in the first place. His Angle coolers were designed with two inches of insulation and a tight-fitting seal to keep things ice cold for up to 10 days. He introduced an integrated hinge so the lid wouldn't break off, durable latches with stainless hardware, and ergonomic handles. Most of all, he priced his gear fairly so a guy could count on getting his money's worth if you need a new cooler take a look at angle cooler before you buy anything else it's the original it's built to last and when it comes to performance you can count on ice lasting longer and your catch staying colder than anything you've ever tried before here's john ireland 
for Rancho Leonero. You know, the ranch is unique. It's one of the few places in the world where you can still drive ATVs up the beach. We have fishing from the beach. We have dive ships that we run to Pomo in a number of different spots. Kayaking, of course, has been real big. We were one of the first hotels to introduce kayaking. The ranch is small, you know, it's intimate, it's 34 rooms, so everyone gets to know everyone. The old saying, where everyone knows your name, well, truly at Ranch Lanero, the employees do know pretty darn near all our guest names. And what's even more interesting is most of the guests know each other's names. Very personal, very intimate, and a special, special environment. Two miles of beachfront, a mile on either side of the hotel. Ranch Lanero is really the last of the old-style Baja fishing resorts. 1-800-646-225. 1-800-646-BAHA and RanchoLeonero.com I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California The best coverage of the NFL playoffs and Super Bowl 51 is right here oh, Incredible San Diego sports leader the mighty 1090 when it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. This is Pete Gray to tell you about one of my favorite places to fish in the world. It's Whaler's Cove Lodge in Angoon, Alaska. For several years now, we've been hosting groups at Whaler's Cove, and this is certainly one trip I do not miss. Each year, the Powers family makes great improvements to the lodge that make this great lodge even better. New rooms, new boats, new fish processing facilities, new outdoor kitchen. The list goes on and on. As for fishing, the calm waters around Whaler's Cove are 100 miles from any large town, so you will enjoy wilderness adventure without the crowds. Whaler's Cove Lodge has some of the best salt and freshwater fishing in Alaska, and there's no need for a bumpy boat ride for hours. You can find productive fishing for salmon, halibut, and rockfish just 10 minutes from the lodge. Here's the deal. The word is out on Whaler's Cove, so you you want to go? Book soon. WhalersCoveLodge.com or call 800-423-3123. WhalersCoveLodge.com for the Alaska fishing experience of a lifetime. The offshore fishing around San Diego seems to keep getting better every year, and next season should be no exception. The same is true when it comes to Ford trucks. They just keep getting better, too. In fact, the new Ford Super Duty has just been named Motor Trend Magazine's 2017 Truck of the Year. It's the toughest smartest, most capable Super Duty ever. If you've got a big boat to move around, look no further. Super Duty beats the competition hands down in both conventional towing and fifth wheel towing. Plus, the new Super Duty is built with high strength aluminum alloy body panels that won't rust ever. For folks like us that launch a lot of boats, that's a pretty big deal. Continuous improvements and innovations have made F-Series pickups the best selling trucks in America for 40 years in a row. Ever since disco and 8 tracks cassettes were all the rage. So whether you've got an eye on the built Ford Tough F-150 or you need the extra muscle of the new Ford Super Duty, you'll find what you need at your Ford dealer. Go to buyfordnow.com to learn more or stop by any San Diego County Ford dealer. They'll be glad to hook you up. 